Oh, what's up guys? You see we're at the lake. Uh, we're gonna be going for some walleye today. I got some worms and minnows. I'm gonna be going on the other side over there. There's some big drop-offs and some weed edges that we're gonna be fishing. So yeah, come with me and see if we can get a nice walleye to fry up. Což mi tu někdo? Že někdo brát? Oh, I got a bite on a bobber. There we go. I got a bobber thrown on a crappie minnow and I have no idea what just hit it. I think it's a walleye actually. Oh, it's a pike. Get the net, babe. Get the net. It's a nice pike, guys. <laughs> hey, just give me this. I'm really sorry. I got, I got it. No, I got it. I got it. Don't worry about it. It's a nice pike, guys. Chill. Nice little pike right there. Just on that crappie minnow. I thought it was gonna be a walleye, and he just got unhooked, I think. I'll show you guys him in a second. All right, guys, this is the little pike I got. It's obviously, it's nothing big. It's probably like a 19, 20 incher, kind of skinny too. But yeah, I got this kind of little crappie minnow on a slip bobber. But yeah, we're gonna let him go, and I'll show you the rig I'm using. Just let him go right here. There she goes, guys. Let's try to get some more. There we go, guys. Got a nice little gill right here. So this tree on just on a jig head and night crawler. Got one on jig head and then one with the minnow and seeing if we could get anything cool like a walleye or something. Yeah, stay tuned and hopefully we get some more fish. Oh, I think I got a bite on a bobber. Yep, something's taking it. There we go, guys. We got something else on the minnow. Oh, it just popped off. But all we're basically using is a slip bobber, little split shot, and a six size hook. And I'm just hooking the crop you minnow. Show you guys in a sec. I'm stuck in the rope. So basically, I take my crop you minnow. So I let you like that by the butt. It's gonna be wiggling nicely for the fish to eat it. There we go, guys. I literally just popped this down. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's a walleye, guys. Nice little guy. I literally just popped this minnow in. Got a nice little walleye right here. Not the biggest one, but like a nice little 14 incher, 14, 15 incher. Yeah, we're gonna probably gonna keep this guy. We're gonna measure him and see if he's legal. And yeah, there we go, guys. We got something else again. That's another. This guy's small though. Little guy. Little Walter head. Gotta release him though. But yeah, it's a nice little like 11 incher. Too small to keep, but at least something's going on. Just on that little crappie minnow again. Using a crappie minnow and six size hook. And yeah, walleye. and turtles. Why do you want turtles? So look at, look at him. He's wiggling his foot. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, little walleye, guys. On the jig head. And he kind of swallowed it, but I could get it out. It's not bad. But yeah, it was just, there's a tree right here and I'm just jigging my jig head around here. That's where I got him on the minnows, and yeah, nice little guy. There we go, guys, we got something on. A little warm, I think it's a bluegill. Yeah, it's a nice gill, guys. Look at that. Look how tall he is. 
It's not that Jake had a night crawler. We're gonna keep him. See something's taking it. There we go, guys. Got something on a minnow again. Doesn't feel big, but Let's see what it is. It's a nice walleye, guys. Nice. Whoa, nice eater eye, guys. Uh, we'll see in a second. Yeah, let me just see the net real quick. Just give me it. Nice eater eye, guys. I don't want to flip him because he swallowed it, and I don't want my line to snap. But yeah, look at this, guys. Nice little 18 inch here. Just on that crappie minnow and a slip bobber in about six feet of water. I'm throwing close to the shore because there's a big drop off and a weed edge. So I'm throwing right outside that weed edge. And these guys are biting. All right, guys, so this is the walleye. This one's a little bit bigger, probably like an 18. The other one's a 16. But yeah, a nice little healthy walleye, not too fat. These are perfect eaters right here. Um, let's try to get some more and we're gonna cook them up later. So Holy. stay tuned. We got a nice gill right here. Oh, pick them up this way. Oh, yeah, we're them in a way from there. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God, guys. That is a hog gill right there. <laughs> Holy crap. It was on a little crappie minnow my girlfriend got. Beautiful colors. Look at this fish. All right, guys. So as you see, I blood the wall. I killed them. Now we're going to fillet them. So I'm going to start off behind this pin here, uh, fin here. I think it's called the pectoral fin. Just going to take a nice light incision right here till I hit the spine. Once I hit the spine, I'm just gonna work my way along it, just slightly putting my knife in, probably a quarter inch, maybe even less. Then once I pass the butt, I will literally poke my knife through, angle it down a little, and just cut so I could get all the meat out. And now, as you see, all I have to do is work my way along the spine right here. So you see, just slightly, I'm not putting barely any pressure. Barely any pressure here, as you see. Keep going, just going around those ribs. That's why you also don't want to put a lot of pressure because you don't want to break through those ribs. Fish is kind of sliding over here. But yeah, I'm just keep going around. Following those bones, trying to get all the meat. And as you see, this is the boneless filet right here. Ribs are still in. Now what I do, take this, flip it, pinch it right here, just make a slight incision, and just work my way along that skin, just angling it slightly down, not too hard because you want to break through it. Do you see now, skin is off, take this. There is bones right along this line right here. I can't really show you them, but you will feel them just in a straight line. As you see, I've caught a little bit on top and a little bit on bottom. Cut this off. These are all bones. And there is a perfectly boneless walleye filet. All right, guys, so we're gonna be seasoning them. First thing is vegeta, some Polish thing. Yeah, we're just gonna sprinkle it on. This has a good amount of like it's kind of salty, a little salty taste to it. But yeah, we're just gonna do that. Sorry, there isn't a lot in here, so it's hard to grab. Just kind of sprinkle it on there. Next thing we're gonna do, get some pepper. Just a little bit, sprinkle it on there. It's enough. Then some salt. And yeah, you guys could also do some other things, but that's what I'm gonna do. When I'm gonna be burning, I'm gonna put some Cajun seasoning on there, so I'll show you guys that in a sec. All right, guys, so I also threw in some hot sauce in the fillets. I like put a little bit of Frank's Red Hot and just mixed it all around. But right here, I just got some flour, I got eggs, I put some Cajun seasoning in there, and I also got breading right here, just regular Italian style, and I also put this Cajun seasoning in there, just mixed it around a little bit. But what we're gonna do is take a fillet, cover it in flour, just cover it really good with the flour. See, it's good. Now we're gonna throw it into the egg. Cover it really, really nicely. See, you want it completely drenched basically in this. Let that 
drain off a little bit, throw it into the breading. Just gonna kind of cover right here, flip it. Covering it, there you go, it's nicely coated. And yeah, we're gonna do that for all these fillets and I'll see you when we're frying them. All right guys, as you see, I got the fillets over here ready. I got some vegetable oil, some Crisco vegetable oil. We're on about a little bit over medium heat, nothing too high. It's already warmed up, so we're just gonna throw this guy in there. We're gonna make two for now. But yeah, we're just gonna throw these suckers on here. And let them fry up. Probably about four or five minutes on each side, maybe a little less. I just basically wait till it's like golden brown color since it's on medium heat. Maybe I'll put it a little bit lower. But yeah, I'll see you guys when the fish are done. All right, guys, so as you see, we just flipped the fish. It was about like three minutes, maybe a little bit less, or somewhere around there. I'm not sure good at the time, but yeah. Medium heat, and I flip them when they turn this color, about the golden brown color. I just flipped them like 30 seconds ago. So yeah, we're gonna wait till the other side gets that color, and we'll take them off and we'll start eating. All right, guys, so we just took the fish off. As you see, it's that golden brown color. I put it on a plate with some paper towels to let the excess oil come off. And yeah, then we're gonna All eat right, them guys, in a couple so minutes. As you see, I already chomped on some fish, but let's just do it on the camera. It's really good fish. Just super hot. But yeah, that Frank's Red Hot, you don't need to put a lot, but it gives a nice little kick to it, and it's not that bad. That's one of my favorite hot sauces. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please stay tuned for my weekly post. Comment if you got any video ideas, and I'll see you guys in the next one.